Hey guys, so today we're making coconut coffee cake for Mother's Day. So let's get started. The ingredients that you'll need are coconut milk, oil, egg, sugar, flour, baking powder, a little bit of coffee paste, whisk special to mixing bowls, uh, beaters, uh, a sifter, a cake pan. So let's get started. So first you want to separate your eggs. So in your bigger bowl you will have your egg yolk, your sugar. This is a very straightforward recipe. So just leave about that much sugar behind. Like about one tablespoon so we can whip up the egg whites and then to that you want to add in your oil, all of your coconut milk and all of that. Your goody goody gumdrops. Goody goody gumdrops. So now you just want to just mix all of your ingredients, your coconut milk and all of that, your goody goody gumdrops, goody goody gumdrops. So now you just want to just mix all of your ingredients together. Just sift in your flour and baking powder. Before that you want to make sure to give it a quick little whisk. I don't know if I told you but you also have a pinch of salt in this. We also have a pinch of salt. I am totally tripping over my words today. So yes. Now you just want to sift this into your uh, liquid ingredients. You've got all of your ingredients nice and sifted. You want to just take your beaters and then whisk your batter or else it's going to become very glutinous and then you'll end up with coffee coconut bread not coffee coconut delicious mother's day cake now we're just going to fold in our egg whites and ready like so you want to make sure that it's all one color and it's like this you want to take a lined cake tin this is an eight inch cake round cake tin and you're going to just pour it in um, you should line it or grease it before you add your batter in. You get your batter into your little pan. You want to just give it a couple of whacks on the table to release all the air bubbles so it doesn't poof up from the inside and be like crunchy on top. That's enough. Now you want to pop this at a 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until a uh, toothpick inserted in bleh, inserted in the center comes out clean or a dry piece of spaghetti inserted in the center comes out clean so once your cake comes out of the oven this is how it will look and we've just inverted and flipped it onto this little stainless steel plate now to top it off we're going to make some hard caramel so for that you're going to need eight tablespoons of sugar we're going to pop that in and three tablespoons of water you want to put this on to the stove top and heat it until it turns a nice amber color. So once your caramel is done, this is the color that you want it to be. Now we're just going to drizzle it all over. The you can drizzle it like lines or in circular motion. And you can actually keep some of this caramel to make like a fun sugar decoration. Now we're just going to continue to slide drizzling on top of here. And then we'll show you how it looks once it's all nice and complete. Then your cake is nice and finished. This is how it will look. So, create this at home. Don't forget to send us a picture on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Leave a comment down below saying if your cake worked or if it didn't. And again, all the recipe measurements will be in the description box below. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. The thumbs up doesn't um, count for me, it doesn't pay me. It's just letting me know that you guys liked my video. So, that's it for this week. See you back next week. Goodbye.